What up, what up, what up? Today, I'm gonna show you guys what's in my camera bag. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another video. This is to Phil from TTL, one and a half of it. About two years ago, I made a what's in my camera bag videographer's edition on this channel, and I showed you what I packed in this bag. Now, that was two years ago, granted, so now everything has changed. I don't even use this bag anymore. So this is not the bag that I'm gonna talk about today. So about like a year ago, I started traveling a lot. I ended up going to New York a few times last year to do some behind the scenes content for our company. And then also like I've been going to a lot of restaurants and doing a lot of social media content for them. Also some passion projects that I did for myself. Even last year when we did the Red Komodo review, I put it all in this one little small bag and took it with us when we did the outdoor shoot with Yasmin. So today I'm going to show you what's in my travel bag. I don't think I've ever talked about it, but this bag right here is the Brevity Runner. There's a runner and there's a jumper. I'm, I, I think this is the runner. Fairly inexpensive. I got it um, a year ago when I started traveling a little bit more. The reason why I went with something a lot smaller than I think that's like a 21 liter or a 31 liter. I'm not sure. Obviously that one holds a lot more stuff. You can fill it up to the brim, put it in, put clothes and everything in it and then travel with it. But the thing is like it was hurting my back a lot. It was really inconvenient. It was very cumbersome going through those little airplane eyes and stuff i'm already a, like pretty big guy and on top of that i got this gigantic backpack on me and every time i swing it around i'm smacking people in the face it was just too much for me right so i wanted to kind of compress everything that i take and just take the bare necessities so i'm going to show you the main things that i take with me when i'm going on a shoot while i'm traveling first in this compartment right here it is the cube in this cube compartment this is where all your cameras and everything sit depending on the shoot what is kind of the job um that i'm doing when i'm there the lens choice might chain equipment that i take like the extra equipment like making a better lavalier mic a tripod maybe a gimbal but if i can get away with not using it probably won't take it filling it up making it heavier is not something that i'm trying to do i'm trying to keep everything very simple but the one thing that does not change is my camera body and the one that i take is always and always will be the sony a7s3 this camera i know came out a minute ago now i've been working with it for a minute now this thing is still to this day biggest workhorse this camera has literally changed my life Life. still doing 4k is still doing all the slow motion it has s log 3 most of my youtube videos that you see on here i shoot it with this all my weddings i shoot with this all my bts stuff i shoot with this all my client work i do with this like i love this camera it's the most reliable camera i think the the biggest reason why i'm, I'm always leaning towards this especially when i'm doing like running gun stuff is because the dual native iso 800 iso and it load the image is very crisp and clear then 12,800 iso and the image is looking pretty good because you have that ability you can shoot in almost fairly dark situations and get a clean image and especially if you're running a gun and you don't know what kind of lighting situation you're going to be in a7s3 and then the lens it flip flops between the 16 to 35 and the 24 to 70 24 to 70 i'm using right now to record myself but the 16 to 35 is something that i've had for a while this is my first g master lens 2.8 but then again 12,800, i can have that latitude you might be thinking like if i take the 16 to 35 and then i need to you know reach a little bit further i do crop clear image zoom the a7s3 has so many features for you to get in a little bit tighter and stuff like that and give you more range the image is great the quality is good like this kit can take a good amount of beating and then right at the end of it you see right here is a polar pro peter mckinnon collab a vnd filter two to five stop i don't think i need any more stops other than that as the job for me if i'm in an outdoor location or somewhere where there's like a lot of light a vnd is very necessary uh this has saved my butt a lot of time so i can keep the shallow depth of field and i can keep my exposure correct this just sits on the lens itself and i kind of use it as a protector because i just don't give a shit about it because it's been so long that i've had it um and then I, we have other ones that we use anyway i only take one sd card with me especially after san francisco when we're getting robbed if they if i do get robbed again i want to take the least amount of stuff that i have okay i mean even even though it would hurt but the sd card that i have right here is a 256 pro master it's a v90 card so 256 gigs 4k 24 256 gigs you can shoot all day but that sits right here another important part about running gun shooting is audio i rode video mic pro and this one is the oldest one, I believe. This is like the maybe the first or the second edition. It still takes batteries. It's not like rechargeable. And but I found that um, the quality is still good. It's still very reliable. It's a good form, so it's it's small. It's not too big. But and like I've done like you know stand up interviews, run and gun shoots, like uh, documenting kind of the day kind of stuff with this one mic, and I was able to get pretty okay 
quality of audio like very passable very good audio i've vlogged with this a lot a couple times so it's used it's old it's cheap and it still does a really good job another camera that i take usually you know when people are traveling they take like an action cam or they take like a like a second camera and stuff like that you do not want to take a second camera i barely take photos if i need to take photos i'll just take it with this whole megapixel photos with my sony a7s3 i don't want to take another camera and deal with that fussing around and then also I might not even use it the whole time, so I'm just carrying around another camera for no reason. Another camera that I take is going to be my Insta360 Go. I talked about this on this channel, um, about how much I loved it and why I used it. A lot of time lapses I've done, a lot of like BTS stuff I've done. Just getting into like small other places and getting some unique stuff, you know, having some fun on a day because traveling shoot day is pretty long, right? And to get bored and demotivated and uncreative and Insta360 and start trying stuff. Very small, lightweight, tucks right into the bag. Battery life lasts longer than a GoPro. That's why I think stuck to the Insta360. Another very important part of everybody's bag is power. I have an Anchor power bank. I do not know what version this is. I don't know how much cap capacity this thing has, but this can run an iPad the entire day. That's for sure. I've done it before. I'll put the link in the description for, for one of these, and I highly recommend this because like the Anchor ones last a really long time, built really well with good quality. Okay, that compartment, the camera cube compartment is done. Real quick, let me just show you what's in this. This, this portion right here, this is a little flap that opens up. Here we have a Aperture MC. I've had this thing forever, bro. I've had this thing since maybe 2020. Just needed a really small light put on top of my camera when I'm in like a dark situation. Like there's no light or, you know, maybe it needs a little, just underexposed a little bit. I'll just slap this on top. I'll get to shooting, bro. Everybody needs a light in their pocket. And I feel like an MC is magnetic. I put a little cold shoe mount on here. It changes color. The battery lasts quite a long time. This always stays in this bag. One other thing is, uh, that's a small little tripod. So this, this one I got from like Amazon. Basically, it's just to hold the Insta360 on top. It extends really high. You can have it pretty much standing somewhere. Flap on the Insta360 and let that thing rock. Let it record the whole time. I could put more stuff in there, maybe like a charger, maybe like a couple more cables, maybe a notebook and stuff like that. But usually I don't take it. There's another compartment in here where I usually put like my keys, wallets, extra paperwork and stuff like that. But right now I don't have anything. And this zipper right on top of the camera cube. Basic stuff like a power brick, a USB-C to USB-C cable. This will charge my laptop. This will transfer data. It will charge my phone. My charge my camera also. So a necessity to keep a Type C to Type C with like a good power brick on there too. Battery wise, one Z battery inside the camera and one Z to Z battery with. Me. Usually, in a for a whole day shoot, I don't need more than two. If I do, I have the power bank keep me going the rest of the day and then I could just charge it. But these Z batteries are very reliable, very good. They last a long time. They're easy to charge. So I just feel like take, taking two is more than enough. The most important thing is when you are traveling, work doesn't stop. Because work doesn't stop, sometimes you need to take work with you, right? So this is my main work machine, my main editing machine. This is the MacBook Pro M1 Max edition. I bought this about a year or two ago because I was using like a, a big gaming PC. That one was still slowing down even though I spent a but little money on it. And when the M1 came out, I did a whole bunch of research and I decided to go ahead and pull the trigger on this expensive machine right here. And I'm gonna tell you, even though the, the M3 chips are out, the MacBook Pro, this thing is still kicking it, man. This thing is handling 6k footage 4k footage all my weddings all the little stuff that i want to do all the editing heavy work this little 14 inch has been handling and the reason why i got the 14 inch and not the 16 is because usually i'm docking this and then when i'm out and about i don't want to have like a gigantic laptop i never found the appeal to have a big screen laptop I'm not working on my laptop predominantly i plug it into my monitor and i work with it that way right i really love this laptop it has an sd card reader so i don't need to carry an individual sd card reader the battery life is good on it 14 inch macbook pro is my main working machine and then when i travel and i need to you know get work done or i'm working on previous work and I'm, i want to travel and still work on it when i'm on the flight i, I want to work on stuff a 14 inch is perfect for me this sits in the back slot two more things that i feel like might be a little bit of essential to keep with you ssd hard drive this is a two terabyte sandis hard drive that mine found at costco fairly inexpensive but putting projects on here to take with you to just dump footage in here and keep a copy of it keep it in your back pocket 
pocket. So if anything ever did happen, you don't lose all your footage. Footage is money, all right? But that kind of like just sits in this top pouch right here. Another thing that I recently started doing, this is Mahin's old Apple Watch. I don't care which Apple Watch series you wear, the new one or the old one, it doesn't matter. Just to have something on you because if you're running and gunning, you know, you miss important emails, miss important text messages, miss important phone calls. I know you're not supposed to be distracted by it, but you should be aware for it. Like maybe there's an important call from your wife or something like that. So having an Apple Watch it has been recently a pleasure to have, honestly. I always keep it with me when I'm going on shoots and stuff like that. So that just sits on my wrist. That doesn't go in my bag. Um, another thing I put in my bag is these old ass AirPods. <laughs> like, I don't understand people that take the over ear headphones. They're like in the airplane and then they're like, they're editing on it. Like, yo, bro, like this is unnecessary, man. You know, like you're taking like the bag for the headphones is as big as your camera. Like, why are you doing that? But to each their own. So I just take these old ass AirPods. If I lose one of them, I don't care. If I lose the whole case, I don't care. Buying these inexpensive ones, I can edit and also listen to music, help with the commute. Buying one of these old version one AirPods is like a smart thing, right? But yeah, so that sits in the bag. Another important thing, and I forgot to mention, Peak Design Capture Clip right here, clutch. Imagine you're out on a shoot, the bag is on me. I'm shooting, I'm shooting, I'm shooting. La, 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 la. No, there's nothing going on. I wanna stop shooting right now. Hands free. This thing, fucking dope. Cause I hate the camera strap. I hate it swinging around. I hate it where like, I don't know, maybe we're like really paranoid cause we got robbed. But I like this kind of system where it's like, it's right there. Boom, boom, boom. I see a shot. Put it away, hands free. I can do whatever I want and then go back to it. So yeah, so a capture clip comes in clutch. Yeah, so that's what's in my camera bag travel edition. Disclaimer for everybody, this kit does kind of change depending on what I need for the shoot. Maybe the lens are different. Maybe I take a tripod, maybe I take a gimbal with me. Maybe I take a little bit more lights. Maybe I take better audio equipment. Always depending on what the shoot requires, right? The main essence of it is travel light, go quick, run and gun, get the job done, get paid, come home, relax, spend time with the family, do some other work, uh, work on things that you actually love doing, right? I'll leave links Links to everything that I talked about today in the description. If you guys liked this type of video, let me know. I have tons of other gear that I could probably show off. Please subscribe. I have never asked you guys to subscribe. And if you made it this far in the video, I love you. Bye.